You know anything about Metallica? I don't have a disco in here. I don't have a disco. Well, let's all start dancing. Yeah. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your skull? Pretty good band, huh? Oh, be a man's man now. Here we go. This ain't no beach house today. This ain't no damn condominium here. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Santa Claus is here. Huddle up! I love it. You know, I sit in my office and I just shake. I get so excited. <laughs> I'm really not into dreams anymore. Okay, I'm in the fucking nightmares. Hey, John, that's the fire. My lord. Just a bullshit set. The Wild Wild West. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast. Today, our special guest is longtime friend. You know him, you love him. Chris O'Connor, everybody. Hey, What's up, how's bro? it going? Chris, you got anything to plug before we get started? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be uh, in Boston this weekend. All right. To Wilbur. Matt. Where? where? The Wilbur, Wilbur Theater, nice. with Andrew Santino. yeah, with Santino. Nice. Yeah. yeah, let me let, let me know if this is too chill for you guys. I don't want to. Like, guys, let's just guys keep up. it easy. Let's take it easy. Take bro. it easy. Take it easy. Now here's sure. some news in the taking it easy realm. I have a sliced penis right now. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> How do you slice? I your have pain? a extremely sliced penis. What? What happened? Damaged. How'd you you shave? Sli- Were you shaving? No. It? No, it was a fingernail oh not mine i was having sexual intercourse and we tried to do cool moves like we (laughs) saw on the porns we tried to do cool moves just like a hand job where no where she she was also touching down there while i was having sex oh yes my penis fell out and i still thrusted and it thrust into Ah, a fingernail got the old cheese grater cheese grated penis (laughs) oh my god (laughs) what kind of slice you talking bro like fish gills? A massive slice. <laughs> really? <laughs> and there was blood everywhere. What? No. If you slice a boner, let me tell you something. <laughs> it's I've so never sliced a boner. This is the first time I've sliced a boner. Bro, <laughs> Dude. it was a catastrophe. <laughs> it was. What, all over the hotel room? All over. But, <laughs> you know, what, you ever you ever damage your penis when you're whacking off? Yes, we all have. No. Just friction. You've burn, never like damaged. Yeah, burn. friction. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Like a severe oh, yeah. burn a where slice. it's like yeah. that was too hard. Not a slice. Yeah. So I've damaged that and then it doesn't hurt yeah, until you're done. Until you're done. Right. And then when you're yeah. done, you're like, ow. Birds so all this red. slice didn't hurt. What? And she was, I, I kept trying to go. And she was like, no, I definitely scratched you because I didn't see it. And then she was like, no, I definitely scratched you. And I looked and I had it in my hand. It's just so much blood, dude. Oh, was not that a fun shaft start? Or was it the head? <laughs> it's the, underneath the shaft. Oh, man. Fuck, so dude. the bottom of my penis is sliced. That's a good way like, to start. Like, was the underbelly? Is the skin coming apart? Like, literally, like. It's a little bit sliced, yeah. Flayed? <laughs> it's flayed. It's a flayed penis. <laughs> you're a flayed oh unit. God. You're like the dude. You got, um, whatchamacallit? It's not flayed. a circumcision. It's called a. Uh, when they caught those Aboriginal oh, yeah. Australians, it's, it's sub incision. You got sub incised. Yes, it's a rite of passage. Dude. It is a rite of passage. I do <laughs> feel stronger. Up, you open up, yeah, dude. You open I don't know up if you your can penis. tell. I'm much more chill and relaxed. <laughs> you reunited, dude. You reunited to your like archetypal double gender. Oh yeah, the penis. The I have a pussy. You got a sub incision. Yeah. Yes. I never understood. And then you tried to have male period sex. So like, come on, it's no big deal. Uh, exactly. It is exactly what it was. It's usually like no, no. Well, no. Once I once I saw the blood, I it quickly changed panic. to a panic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she obviously she was devastated, and I had to remind her it was obviously my fault. How, how was that your fault? Well, it wasn't hers. Yeah. It was an accident. We of were trying course. to do cool stuff. Of course. And when you do cool stuff, sometimes bad things happen. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, learning. Dude. But What's your timetable for recovery? You think? Who knows? But probably like three months. I'm on day three. No, no uh, whacking. No or fat. ejaculating. So. You'll I'm fucking pissed. Should you put some neosporin on it? No. That'll speed up recovery big time. Cuz I've I've It's a waiting game now. True. <laughs> I've cut balls before. You've cut your balls? I've nicked, nicked my nutsack while shaving. That's yes. a, that's an internal bleed. It is. Yeah. That goes on forever. You have no idea. The penis I couldn't imagine. A long slice on your penis? <laughs> How long? How long of a slice? The length of my penis, so. The whole <laughs> <laughs> Baby scratch my whole fucking penis. Yeah. Damn, not on the head though, just right underneath no. the head. 
a little bit on you the head. You think you'll have a scar? It might, it might look glands? like... She got you on the glands? She got me on the tip and then underneath. Jesus, dude. Yeah. Did you oh, like so it? Not a, I did not like it. Did you like it? I did not like it. Getting sliced? No, but my penis now is going to look... You ever see like an old great white shark? <laughs> <laughs> That's what my so penis the nose is going to look like. Just a up. shark, yeah. like a line down the side of it. Yes, I will have a scarred penis. Damn. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. How was it before you got cut? What you oh, guys it was were phenomenal. Doing? We were yeah. doing cool stuff. <laughs> yeah. So a little like hand hold? What do you mean? In. What do you no. mean? What kind of hand? What was the hand doing? Well, I don't want to get too graphic. Sure, sure. I mean, I have been discussing sliced penises. True. It's just a grip outside. I was. The, you don't want to get personal. No, I was behind. Yeah. She was reaching down touching herself. Ah. Uh, that's how I sliced the bottom. Gotcha. I thought I had the whole time. I thought you were working some sort of like advanced thing where it was like she was gripping your root. Mm, fucking. I like that idea. Yeah, that's also, yeah, I was that's intrigued. I, yeah, that's what oh, I thought no. you were doing. No, yeah. it was, that's it was serious cool stuff. That's doggy nice style stuff. sex. That's cool stuff. It was doggy style. As he was doing doggy. <laughs> so I was doggy. dogging my girlfriend in this hotel room. <laughs> And ah, I, I, I ended up slicing my dang <laughs> penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just good, easy do listening. You, do on you think the commute. neighbors heard? The neighbors probably. Oh, Were you yeah. screaming? Did you scream? They heard me yelp. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I didn't. I didn't make a noise. Dude. You kept I told it quiet. You, I'm a silent assassin in the bedroom. <laughs> so you got sliced, and you were just like. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm what you try to get. You're like, I try you ever, to get back in. Dude. You ever see when you pop a dog off another dog and it's still fucking up in the <laughs> yeah. air? You were still air up in the air. I was. You're like, let me fucking. Oh in. man, I can't, I can't believe I've admitted to having a sliced penis on this podcast. <laughs> you were curled up, just like like I pull Jackson off and tilt every now and again. He just still goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would think it would heal quick. I Not hope the pain, so. bro. Why not? not I would think the body would be. It's never been fine too. Dude, it's like a baby's hand. It's never. Yeah. You're not working with your penis, right? It's fresh <laughs> baby skin. Yeah, dude, it fucking it heals super fast. I think it might heal super fast. Yeah, I've had damaged penis before, and it does heal quickly. Really? Never a slice, but <laughs> you can't ever... have a penis down for too long. That's a that's <laughs> yeah. an emergency. It's an evolutionary emergency. Yeah. True, especially when the rest of my body's dying as quickly as it is <laughs> like, we got to get something out <laughs> it's all yeah, hands a, on deck that's a fair point i was yes. thinking more like it's just this like appendage that like stays out of the sunlight doesn't get much friction that's my whole body <laughs> <laughs> i do scar like really you easily. bruise you do i bruise right. and scar like crazy you should get into scarification maybe instead of tats you just like scar up i should start cutting scarification would be nasty dude or get branded. What type of brand do you think I should get? Black Fraternity. <laughs> <laughs> the Omega or whatever. Yeah. Those two? Yeah. Noops, get me a noop. <laughs> Dude, how dare Gardini, what were you going to say about damaged penis? You, you seemed like you had something to say. I just want, I've been keeping it from you guys for a while, but I actually have a laceration on my penis as well right now. What? And it's been there for about three weeks. <laughs> what? <laughs> so you got that to look forward how'd, to. How'd you dude. lacerate your penis? Self-inflicted. What? Dude. What happened? Wait, I think it was just irritation from <laughs> masturbating. Just repeat injury. Yeah, dude, it's disgusting. Like you got a callus on it. It's like, like a scab. Like it's when you like play a, guitar, yeah, your fingers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You got the old rug burn, burn. You might have herpes from but that. That's not a, from going down to the shore. Uh, no, I don't think I have herpes. Are you sure? No, but I don't think I have herpes. You've Googled her. You might have caught North Jersey chicken pox on your penis. <laughs> no, I don't sleep with that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sleep with yes. that. Is it an open well. sore? No, it's like a is it pus filled scab? It's a it scab like that you keep pus-filled. reopening because you can't keep your hands off yourself. You can't keep your grubby little hands off yourself. Yeah, you should go to the doctor. Tell no, him exactly what happened. Like, look, well, I'm, I'm I've been feverishly <clears throat> masturbating, Doc. One Just time I did go to the as doctor a vaccination with side penis side. Uh, pain, and he told me I had chlamydia, and I didn't. Didn't I tell you that story? No. Yeah, he told me I had chlamydia, so I told some girl. Are you a wrestling coach? Is this who told you this? No, it was a the urgent care doctor. So it was like yeah, that's our go-to. a cool doctor and hot nurses. Oh, mm. in the urgent care, there's always hot nurses. And the yeah. cool doctor always wants to show you up in front of the cool hot he nurses. Is He's like, yeah, a small nurse. penis probably has chlamydia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah, know how you he, even got that, bro. I don't know how you managed to even catch that, bro. Yeah. So I had irritation in my urethra, mm. and um, so I went there and I was like. I have irritation in my urethra. I think I have a UTI. And he was like, you're not a lady, dude. You can't get UTIs. Damn, this guy was crushing you. Yeah, you can and definitely that, get UTIs. Well, he He's probably like, hold on, I'll be could. right back. And just ate a farmer rep's pussy real quick. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are we talking about? <laughs> so that fucking 
Um, he was like, I'm going to test you, so piss. And then, uh, but it takes a week <laughs> to get the test, test back. So what? <laughs> 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 he, he had to test me. He had to test me. So he's sure like, give me a sample to test. It took a week. And it'll take a week, but I'm going to treat you for it anyway. So I had to take the antibiotics for chlamydia, and he gave me a shot for syphilis as well. Jesus. And then it took more than a week to get the results back. I was waiting like two weeks, and my penis still hurt. So I texted the girl I was sleeping with. I was like, you gave me chlamydia. And she was like, fuck you, dude. I don't have chlamydia. And then it was a big fight, and she hasn't. She didn't talk to me after that. Damn. And the doctor called me back the next day and was like, you don't have chlamydia or syphilis, by the way. Was it burning? Did it like sting and burn when you peed? Yeah, he said. And then I, he said it was probably just from too much too much use again. From too masturbating too much? Yeah, I think so. Oh, my God. You had to have a doctor tell you to slow down? <laughs> yeah, well, I just like it hurt when I peed. So I was like, what the hell? I had that for like, How hard are you whacking on? Yeah. Good question. How Not many times hard, a day dude. and how... What kind What's of lubricant on? are you one. using? I'm doing one tops. No well, way. Then you, Two on, on a good day. No unless... way. What kind of lubricant? I'm doing them dries. That's why. You're yeah. going just hand to penis. A little bit of spit. And you're but... cirked. Yes. This is chaos. I feel like you're underselling the amount of times per day. I don't know. If I I'll do just two hand, if I'm pigging. I cave, man. I do two if I'm pigging tough. out, but one is it's tough standard for me. Practice. True. I mean, no, it's it's not the best. I don't best. know what to tell you, Matt. It's hard for me. It's not the best. It's just hard for me, too, but I'm just lazy. It's too pleasurable. The lotion takes it up a notch. Guys, I yeah, have a fucking is. actually sliced penis. <laughs> so right he, he you has don't fucking have carpet penis, dude. Yeah, I have a laceration my lotion. Oh, no. I, it, this Ooh, is, it's stink, a fresh dude. wound, and so far it hasn't hurt too bad, except when I was wearing dungarees on stage. Then it, my penis hurt. She but thankfully, it is reach. the underside, so it's rested. The wound yeah, is yeah, hidden true. nicely by my sack. <laughs> yeah, the dragon. My, long, someone got the my long giant balls. long sack and balls. <laughs> big balls. Finally, <laughs> my big balls are coming to, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming to help. Yeah, dude. You got hit in the dragon's belly, dude. <laughs> right, right in his weak spot. <laughs> I could talk about this for three hours. I know. It's so funny. <laughs> How to slice penis in the middle of doing cool sex. <laughs> This is what we get for trying to do cool sex. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's... I'm usually a regular sex guy. And then one day we were just, it was great. We were yeah, caught in the moment. Bro. I was yeah. like, do something cool. Do something crazy. I said, yo, do something crazy. <laughs> we ended up slicing my own penis. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Did you try anything else before that? Moves? Cool yeah. moves? Don't worry about that, Chris. <laughs> Come on. Don't worry about me and my girlfriend's sex life. <laughs> I want to know what led up to You did cool moves recently, didn't you? No, <laughs> no, dude. I've been. You I, snuck out like a thief in the night, dude. <laughs> yeah, I had I had things to do. Yeah, uh, three in the morning, you felt yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. time to do cool moves. Like I had to go to the dentist. Yeah, yeah. Chris's <laughs> car turned into a pumpkin. I had to go to the gym. <laughs> I had to go to the gym and the dentist. <laughs> Chris turned into a pumpkin. <laughs> Stagecoach turned right yeah. into a pumpkin. Uh, that's, uh, it was an emergency. You had to get back to the dentistry. ball, dude. The princess was at the ball. You had to get back. <laughs> Wait, what time did you run off? You uh, snuck dude, out of it here. was. Because I came back good. and all your shit, like it was as if somebody had just left the living room. <laughs> dude, dude. So I assume it was just it was, a yeah. teleported. It was not. It seemed good. like a game time. I was decision. up to no good. I was. I yeah, was one behaving of those Donnie Darko wormholes from your penis. It did. Just fucking led me straight to another city <laughs> at three in the morning. <laughs> you should have seen that drive. Yeah, it has yeah. to be a depressing drive as soon as you hit the highway. Like, yeah, what the yeah. fuck am yeah. I doing? I was also, damn, damn. Yeah. what's that one song? And you were right on the wheel. <laughs> you must have been hammered to, to oh, make really? this Oh, really? Yeah, it was bad. Chris it drank and drive. That was red hot loving, dude. But I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at that. Red hot loving. But that took everything out. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yeah, that So was you decided wild. to drink and drive to try to get some puss, hey. Uh, try to get some yeah. milk and puss. That's actually fair. If they're like, what are you doing? Like, Yeah, yeah. It's an emergency. It was. What is uh, it? But yeah, that's all you. I've always heard cops say. respect. <laughs> I don't, yeah, you tell a cop I can't disclose don't. what my activities were. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? I didn't do like anything interesting. Today. You that's didn't sick. do anything. Showing cool? up drunk. No. Showing up drunk with like a semi-functional <laughs> penis. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it was I'm bad. here. Yeah. It's tight. That's a power move. Oh, yeah. that definitely would happen. There's no way your dick worked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. That's why you, I Terrible. was like, did you guys fuck? And he was like, no. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it, there, it wasn't for lack of trying. Yeah. Damn. Damn. You I road tripped. Sex drive. And then you couldn't get hard. Face plant. Yeah. Fuck. I wonder how many times it happens to rappers who are like, it's five in the morning. Just Dude. fucking yeah. soft, squashy bird. <laughs> I'll keep dude the different soundtracks you could have for that. You could, I think Meatloaf, anything for love, that'd be mm. sick. 
And I would do anything. <laughs> no, dude, just I, jamming I, I have no radio in the car. So my Still, radio does not work. It's just a dead silent car. You listen to your silent? Yeah. No, normally I do, but this was a complicated situation. Get a fucking probably real Bluetooth. sexual breathing. Is that's probably what was no, playing? No, 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 no. It was, it was, mm. it was two hours of like this was a huge mistake. Mm. How but long was it? But I'm drive? out here. I'm in the middle of the ocean. I got to get back to two hours. What? You drove from here to to Philly, Philadelphia. Ooh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Philadelphia. <laughs> so yeah, there were yeah. other cool moves. Yeah, well, not that cool. Yeah, I know. You, 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 My whole situation—I got—I got full bush right now. Mm. I got a big bush. I haven't shaved in months. Really, guys? Yeah, we're talking about sliced penises and giant, <laughs> giant bushes. Can we get it back to, to our regular know, scheduled? Uh, Jax your bush is cycle? bullshit. I wanted to know how if you guys are bushing out or not. I am bushed out right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Didn't help with the blood. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, yeah, it turned into a real fucking mess. It like a head wound. <laughs> yeah, it was a mess. <laughs> so there. This is uh, disgusting crud, dude. Is it? <laughs> People are trying to listen to this. Gardini's got to damage your urethra. Oh, man. My penis stung for a while, uh, <laughs> New Year's Day, when I was a youngster. I thought I had something, but I think mine was extreme dehydration. And I was just peeing out. Yeah, like, that's what mine was, too. I was just actually. peeing out. like Smir- <laughs> I was just peeing out Smirnoffs, I think. Oh, Doctor, really? I was just fucking getting hammered like five nights a week. Yeah, I woke up, and it was just like, I was going to the doctor, and he's like, bro, I think you're just dehydrated, Holmes. Mm. I was like, all right. <laughs> yeah, it was another... Yeah. Urgent care is like, dang, Holmes, I <laughs> yeah, think you're dehydrated yeah. or something. <laughs> yeah. He's like, are you gay? I was like, nah. He's like, nice. <laughs> you're either gay or you have chlamydia. <laughs> what? Mine was pretty cool about it. He, was, he like definitely reassured me. I was crying. I was really upset. Really? No. I've never had any really big dick injuries, to be honest. This I've had my, small dick injuries. This is my first. <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah, this I, is my got, first. This is my first penis injury. Do you ever I do got, a penis crash? No. What's that? It pops out. You go. You just like. Jam yeah, lady yeah, jam it in that lady. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah. that's what happened. Except this time, there's a fingernail there. Ah. Yeah. You Normally, had the. You had yeah. the, the, and then the girl always. Yeah, that's funny. What? We both talked over each other three times in a row. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I was like, <laughs> it was like the <laughs> opposite of a harmony. Like, <laughs> so what were you saying? I'm sorry. No, you go ahead. I was saying you encountered the mythical vagina dentanta, dude. Yes. A tooth vagina. <laughs> True. She tooth. could have it, and she lied about her hand. <laughs> you put it, yeah. She you is a, a demon. Rogue, you got a rogue tooth in there? The vagina dentanta, dude. <laughs> Folklore by the Native Americans. Gardini, you like that one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's going to be delighted to hear this. What? About she's this a, whole ordeal. Yeah, yeah. Well, Whatever. yeah, that can go one of two ways. Sometimes they get like, oh, you know, you joking around. But yeah. you were just joking around about you getting sliced. Yeah, my penis was cut. Yeah. Anyway. Hit, hit you with that <laughs> hill razor, dude. Did you have to call for a new sheet? <laughs> no, it wasn't like that. Towels? No, I was just like holding no. a fish. Yeah. Yeah. I, I gripped it. <laughs> you like, turn oh, it? You applied a turn it? Yeah. I really did. I applied it tight. <laughs> yeah, I was worried. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I was like, no, it's not bad. And then I went, Just I ran in the into the, squeezing. I went to the hotel bathroom and I let go for a second. I was like, it's actually pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's very bad. <laughs> so Fuck. yes, that's good. Well, now Glad you guys it. know my secret. I have a damaged. Penis. Can you fly with the damaged penis? Uh, I'm gonna go through that. They're gonna see it. Jesus, sir, step aside. Step aside. Dude. Something's wrong. You're hiding something in your penis, dude. <laughs> but I thought a cartel. If they do open. just randomly select me and they're like, "We have to touch you there," I'm gonna be like, "No, my penis is actually cut." <laughs> You're not gonna be able to go in the ocean in San Diego. I was. I didn't plan on. No, it. that'll heal it up, <laughs> bro. Me and uh, <laughs> yeah. Louie are gonna go swimming. You might, yeah, <laughs> dude. And I will heal. That'll heal you up instantly. Yeah. You need salt water on that thing. You think salt water is good for my wounded peen? Yeah, like yeah, I'm, I'm dead yeah. serious. That would heal it. Guys. You could salt. Dang. If you have some Himalayan, dude, you could, you could, you know, get I'm not a salting start. the wound <laughs> on <laughs> my <laughs> penis. <Yeah. laughs> you should work at an urgent care. Oh, I would be nasty. You'd be a dude. great urgent care Nurse doctor. practitioner. <laughs> I'd be a good nurse, honestly. I'd be chill as hell. Mm. Yeah. I'd be, I don't know though. I don't know if I could do that. Would you get a cool sports team bandana? Yeah, I, you're, probably your birds. I'm, I'm more of an anesthesiologist guy. Yeah, my Those birds, are, man, are looking good. Birds are two and three. They gotta I, win, dude. I'm telling you, I judge how they're doing. I every Sunday, 
I watch people in jerseys walking around, and I'm, I can tell whether the birds won or lost. Like, all right, <laughs> yeah. we won. That's, that's how I tell. <laughs> yeah. This weekend, we won this week, right? Yeah. I could tell people were jubilant in their in their gear, and I was They're like, happy. nice, we got to yeah. win. Gardini, were you I, excited for the packed. birds? I was excited, but I don't really follow football that much. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Just checking it out. But I was like, oh, maybe you're really okay. I was actually, one of my things I had worked up, I, was, I thought you were going to be sitting next to me. I was going to smack you and ask you how about the game. Like, yo, you see that fucking game? You were going to smack me? Just kind of like, yo, you see the fucking game? Not in a bad way, just fucking... Yeah, I've been Smack working. I've been working on myself in that I'm regard. Becoming a, guy, becoming I'm, a football guy. You're just trying to in general, the next trying to become like a John man, Gruden. a man's man. John Gruden. You're wearing the black and gray out of solidarity <laughs> for the Raiders. Like, for Gruden, dude. You're wearing a Raiders uniform. The Gruden, right now. dude. Dude, they got the Gruden dude in the email. They got our man. Did they specify what it was? Yeah, yeah he had some. <laughs> he had some <laughs> wild. Were they fuckers? wicked? Yeah. yeah. The one I saw, uh, <laughs> Gardini pulled up on the way up here was he like laughed at a misogynistic meme. It's like no. that's everybody. I'll be honest. It actually read like when we got in trouble. And people were quoting us. Yes. Like it reads like that where it's, it's like, it's kind of funny. Yeah. What did he hit? He called uh, Roger Goodell a clueless anti-football pussy faggot. Oh, he <laughs> yeah, he on it. a couple of those. Yeah. He, he <laughs> criticized them for forcing them to draft queers because they drafted. Uh, I saw that one. Sam. Sam. Yeah, yeah. What is his name? Uh, and it just it did. It Who was did the email? Bad luck that he had a gay player, the first openly gay player on mm. his team. I think he was emailing the GM of the or the president of the Redskins. The Redskins, who, <laughs> dude, the G- president of the Redskins gets down, dude. He yeah. loves that shit. Wait, it, so did he get in trouble? Well, no, what happened? Was Gruden's that gonna fall on the sword. He's probably got the threads ready to go, dude. Oh yeah, a lot yeah. of hotmail accounts, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that Every guy was NFL. already under investigation. Email it's, investigation? Yeah, yeah. The, the the guy who worked for the Redskins, and then so then all his emails became like part of the investigation and then all of his i guess Yikes. this was the one guy i think that gruden was dumping all this stuff yeah on. gruden was just venting <laughs> so to his gruden boy God he was venting to his boy so who, via email. who told who who told espn i guess or the new york times the yeah. new york times are such Did they? fucking cunts <laughs> all the time i mean dude so God, that's, what I'm, that's all they do was there a chain yeah, email or something got, like how who got cc'd to the point where they're like whoa no, I'm, it was it was part of like the discovery for the investigation. Yeah, but what is the investigation? Wait, so they subpoenaed? I don't know. I wasn't able to figure. Yeah, that out. the other guy's email got subpoenaed for what? So the then they found Gruden saying, "What was he like in his emails?" What was the other guy doing? I don't know. I, I'm I don't know. Maybe it was just the Redskins being the Redskins. They just automatic, automatically were like, "We need yeah, to see all." We're gonna your emails. check these out. Um, but what? It's all BS. I wish they had this same intensity when it came to Hillary's emails. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's why she had the private server. Yeah. She was probably saying like these fucking queers. Yeah, in the NFL. Like, I can't. These <laughs> burn it. Anti football pussies. Need to talk to Hillary. <laughs> yeah, anti football yeah. is the sickest thing to call someone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody, you guys are anti football. Matt, you're anti football, dude. <laughs> you're, <laughs> dude, you're an anti. You're a clueless anti football <laughs> pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who's anti football is fucking clueless. Also. <laughs> If, if coaches are in trouble for being homophobic, every coach is fine. Oh, my God. The whole, right. the whole point of football is to prove you're straight. <laughs> <laughs> That's the entire point. That's literally from day, from peewees. You're like, what are you, a girl? Yeah. From the start. They're like, what are you, gay? I know. I know. <laughs> if you play football for 15 straight years, you're getting called gay. Yeah, constantly. For getting hit. Yeah. That's it. I was just starting to come back around to how much I liked Gruden, too. I like Gruden. I spent I like, like the whole the, like the whole lead up to this release. I was just was watching like all those Gruden yeah, highlights. Faces. Doesn't it, yeah. isn't his son too? His son's in the league. You're thinking Billichek. Billichek. Yeah. You show me Billichek, son. Gruden. Yeah. Gruden also said that he lost his virginity to the Notre Dame fight song, and they're like, "Wait, you could hear it?" Because I think his dad coached at Notre Dame. Yeah, was an assistant, I believe. Uh, either way, they were like, "Wait, you could hear the band playing." He was like, "No, it was playing in my head." <laughs> I was like, damn Gruden Fuck, I love you dude, dude yeah when damn, he was fucking for the first time he was sitting there going that's not anti I bet when he hit the he spat it up oh yeah dude that's not anti-football at all that's no that's the definition of pro football <laughs> well the reason he was calling people anti-football pussies is because it was right when the concussion stuff came out right so everybody was like we, they were talking about like ending football and yeah. he was like, dude, no way. You're I love football. This. Yeah, we're not doing this. Yeah. 
Damn. So Will Smith Roger, Roger Goodell is an anti-football pussy. <laughs> yeah, dude. What the? F- well, I'm still I'm still blown away by the fact that they subpoenaed coaches' emails. That's pretty nuts, dude. Yeah, they should seal that. All I can find they is workplace <laughs> misconduct. <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein putting that stuff raped in young girls, email. and they sealed his documents. Yeah. Really? Can't get, we can't like Rudin call people gay. <laughs> Rudin should be allowed to call people gay. <laughs> It yeah. was. It was when that first came out. He was also didn't he call? He called some D guy Anthony like, or D something Smith. He said he had like lips, lips like rubber lips like Michelin tires or something. <laughs> <laughs> he was dropping heat. In so he, 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 the he did. Coach. He was able to dodge that one a little bit. He was like, no, I just I call people who are liars rubber lips. Mm. He could have, and that that yeah. But then the rest of them came out. <laughs> yeah, what were the, the rest homophobia. of homophobia? Yeah, but were they? I don't. And know, then like, something about lady refs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was something, a meme. That was a meme. That was a gif. Or like by a the way, or it's something every single football fan has yeah, said. Has, yes. Yeah. Free Gruden, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. He didn't get caught for racism, though, right? He escaped that when he broke that tackle. Yeah. yeah. And then he got fucking <laughs> trucked by homophobia. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's done for good? Uh, yeah. I think his contract was worth like $100 million, though. So they're going to pay him out. I wonder if they are going to pay him oh, out. Or if they this is firing for cause or whatever. Uh, last chance. That's a good season of last chance you. Dude, if he goes to fucking scuba tech down in Mississippi. <laughs> holy shit. Please, Gruden. He's about to get paid. I dude. hope he comes to Notre Dame. Notre Dame's homophobic. Yeah, they'll hire him. They're Catholic. They have mm-hmm. to be. By nature. I had mm-hmm. a dude fucking corner me about Notre Dame when I was in Chicago. <laughs> I was on a. We were flying back. You were it? used to it, though. You've been trained. Oh, I was ready to You've roll. Been trained dude, by the master. Dude, <laughs> he hit me with ND lax. I got hit with oh. ND lax, dude. So this guy, we're sitting there. He sees Maya, like you know, this guy's obviously a gentleman, and his wife and you know Brittany were sitting, or his wife, him and his wife were sitting down on a crowded rental shuttle, and he goes, "Ma'am," he gives Brittany and Maya a seat, and he stands next to me, and he was like, "That's a Notre Dame man, dude. Big time Catholic values." He was like, "How old is she?" I'm like, she's about 19 months. He was like, you got to get her into lacrosse, bro. Really? You got as soon as you can. He wants, get her in. Really? He Lady like, lacrosse. He's like, dude, she'll go to school for free. Yep. He's like, you get them in early. They play on the elite teams. He's like, if you just get them in at eight years old, the rest will take care of itself. He's like, full ride. Lady golf, mm-hmm. too, apparently. Yeah. Well, You're he was have saying, free college, but you are going to have a lesbian daughter. What? Fair. No, Lex. You're going to have a lesbian Lex? daughter no matter what at college anymore. So she might as well True. be able to fucking talk. I thought you were saying me. I was like, what the fuck does that supposed to mean, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying everyone. All of our daughters are going to be lesbians. Yeah. I mean, God forgive me, my sweet baby. What? But <laughs> all girls are lesbians now, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They go th- yeah, every they girl, have to yeah. Go, they have to try it out. Yeah. I mean, you know, God bless them. Do you think you'll resist God. it at all? No, man, I'm not. A, dude, I'm one of those dads. You ever see the dad's t shirts? Like, my daughter's body's not mine to protect, and I support her. Yes. <laughs> you ever see those? No. Yes. I saw that on Facebook. Some it's guy, your people. Oh it's God. the liberals. True, really? it is the libs. It's the liberals. I've never seen that yeah, at the meeting. If you're a Republican here, says, like, you, you can date you. my daughter, but I have a shotgun. I'll shoot <laughs> you in the fucking head. But yeah, the, the guy, he was he was telling me specifically to stay I'll away from... I'll shoot you in the fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> if somebody fucks my daughter, I'm going to kill him. fucking shoot them, dude. I'll kill everybody. If someone fucks my daughter, I'll kill my son. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my firstborn. Man, I've managed to not date any girls with dads like that. What? Protective? Yeah. Alpha? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like aggressive. Yeah, I never... Uh, looking I up and down the first Sixth time grade, my, my girlfriend's dad was a cop. Eesh. And he was... He was pretty laid back, though. Really? I just remember he was a big Dolphins fan, which made me laugh. That's pretty funny. <laughs> he was just watching Dolphins football, and they had, like, Dolphins memorabilia in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> We're in central Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's the a strange guy. Yeah, they, all the Wops love the Dolphins. Yeah. Dolphins sense. and Cowboys. It's the Wops are little name, greedy right? fucks. <laughs> Dolphins, they love the Dolphins for Marino, but then they're bandwagons for the Cowboys. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to stoke <laughs> up ire on the Cowgirls the, the Cowboys. other day. You hate the Cowboys? I do hate the Cowboys. I, I did. I didn't think I hated them until I went to that game and saw how like people Texas people from Texas are just yeah. It's crazy. People from no, Dallas, yeah, especially it is just Texas, I feel like. man. It's like, dude, I don't give a fuck yeah. about your gay state. <laughs> you, you, you fucking anti-football pussies. <laughs> God. You think Texas is an anti-football state? No, nah, Texas loves football. They you got to give them credit. You do have to give. Credit I do have to give credit. True. Texas wealthy, does rule. That's what sucks. Wealthy Texas is is almost weirder than like L.A. Though we encountered a little wealthy Texas. Mm. Fuck you, though. 
<laughs> Wait, which one was that? What was that? <laughs> we saw that one dude who was so coked out of his mind. <laughs> Where? When we were in Austin. Uh, fuck. I'm trying just to. Some think. dude. We were in some bar. Oh there, my god. There was a dude who was just. Oh my like, god. He was oh, so yeah, coked. Yeah, oh yeah, my right. god. I've never it seen was, someone yeah, that much in. coke. It was nuts, dude. Holy shit. Yeah. It was crazy. He walks in and says, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, where's the bathroom? Right away. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wealthy Texas is tough. I never fucked with it other than that. I was the only wealthy Texan I've ever met. Oh, no. Like the dudes, wealthy Texas dudes are like guys that are trying to really like live forever. They get like plastic surgery. Like chicks get plastic surgery. Like nose jobs. Like yeah. blood lip injections. What's the other stuff when you get like young people's blood? <laughs> yeah, like a, is that adrenochrome or something? What's adrenochrome? <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm not trying to get these platforms. <laughs> True. <laughs> what is? I don't even know. Adrenochrome. What it yeah, is. right. Liberal. <laughs> <laughs> you guys probably have it at Thanksgiving, dude. Yeah, that's probably yeah. all you guys. <laughs> it's like a yeah. gland. It's like some glandular <laughs> thing. You can like get it out of a baby and you like eat it and feel like a god. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes, and then you mandatory vax everybody. <laughs> and they drink Chris the loves the mandatory vax, by the way. Do you like it? I'm indifferent to it. It's racist. It's Disgusting. inherently it's systemic <laughs> racism, bro. It's inherently racist. Know. You can't be on a jury apparently now if you're not vaccinated. Really? I that's, think that's great. It. Damn. Well, back to all white juries. That's what they're saying. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, man. I uh, I'm a big fan of you know. I can't stand the man's politics, obviously, but I love Robert F. Kennedy Jr. <laughs> big yeah. fan of the man. Pol- politics abominable. What's stuff he doing? he's saying about the vaccine? Can't stand it. Oh yeah, but I like his pizzazz. <laughs> but what's, like, he saying? what's he saying about the vaccine? He's not a he's Just not a, a proponent. Bunch of and nonsense. We love the vaccine. Bunch of nonsense, dude. You know, talking about simulation two hundred one or oh man. when they simulate it, like what will we do in the event of a novel coronavirus? Yeah, something stuff like that. Saying like people like ran a simulation like five years ago and talking about how we would exactly suppress it. Disinfo- yeah, like yeah. if there were an event, how would we suppress disinformation? Yeah. Rather than like focusing on how to get people healthy, it's just not it's bullshit, bro. <laughs> it's it crazy. Me I saw it. I turned it off. I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, mm. that's kind of how I feel about the whole thing. I like the guy. Yeah, I like his energy. Is he a geese? Is he an old guy? Is he yeah. young? Pretty old. He's RFK. Yeah, he's RFK. And he's got a fucked up throat. He got fucked so up. He sounds insane. Yeah, he got his. What like that? Yeah. I've he, never heard anyone sound like him in my apparently, life. Apparently, apparently, he says it was from a vaccine. <laughs> fucked up his throat really he said that not you know yeah that's why he's off all the fucking major network that's why he's off all the major tubes dude. yeah i will say this you were anti-vax like years ago i remember that yeah so i was like what are you a fucking hippie back i remember that remember yeah. years and years ago i was like they're positioning for a new trillion dollar industry and you know they're getting it and they deserve it and they should have it you know <laughs> <laughs> you, should, you should all do what they say and if you disagree you're a fucking asshole dude and you're a threat yeah. to our democracy <laughs> to our health <laughs> Yeah, it's I true. just hope all those people get the justice that tried to storm and overturn the entire government. Remember that? The justice? That they deserve justice. Yeah. We need to rat those people out that oh, stormed the time. Capitol and big attempted time. a coup. Yeah. Well, it all starts almost, with, yeah. it all starts with finding homophobic emails. That's yes. where you find, that's like the fucking breeding ground for Dude. anti- My penis stings right now. I think Your penis I- is stinging? <laughs> <laughs> God. But yeah, man. I think that's true. I think the, I think we're safer as a country now that Gruden is not in charge of the, uh, yeah, the Vegas Las Raiders. Vegas Raiders. Yeah. The ne- <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, the network they did they did not cut the head off the snake with that. If they were Definitely winning, not. if the Raiders, I know they're having a good year right now, but if that was like a long term, they won for like if that happened to Bill Belichick, the Patriots would be like, no, like we're keeping. Yeah, yeah I wonder. Now Belichick's like kind of now that Brady's gone, I think he could he could succumb to it. Yeah, but. I bet they would have. I bet if it was like New England and they were winning, the height of his power, like, bro. Yeah, where do you go from there? What do you think he's gonna do? Gruden? Yeah. Be sad for like a year. Yeah. And then be like, oh yeah, I have a hundred million dollars and I won a Super Bowl. True. Yeah. But it is. It is always like everybody's saying when someone gets like canceled like that. Everybody's always like, you know, he's rich. He'll be fine. It's like what? So he should just be done with his life now? Yeah. yeah. What he should did, he do? Yeah. All he did was like eight years ago. He sent an email. Could he buy a yeah. football team? Like a minor league football team? They probably wouldn't sell. To Gruden? Yeah. If the money's right, dude. I don't know. He might he grab like in, in like a year, he can, he'll can coach somewhere. Jay, he, he's hit up John Bon Jovi, dude, and buy like an arena football team. <laughs> yeah. Turn into a fat cat. I, that's the crazy thing is I bet if he just coached for another three weeks, people would it'd be yeah. over. What do you mean? Like if they just didn't uh, respond to it. If he said like, this is football. If, yeah, no, you just like you just you just stop talking about it and like move on to something else. True, or just you know 
came out like I'm sorry. I called people anti pussy, anti football <laughs> pussies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that dude. That's got to have coaches fucking quake. Every coach, dude. every coach, is every coach I've ever been in front of has said something yeah. W- yeah. wildly homophobic. Yeah, right? it's like the military. It is. It's very similar to the military. Yeah. It's like we're gonna have the military. You know, people are going around killing people. You know, they have to do it. But it's like they're not gonna be like, oh, excuse me. What yeah. did I yeah. say? You know, do you remember there was like an island? Like I think it was like part of some marine base they had some separate island for like the most hardcore marines do you ever hear about this i know what it is but i don't want to talk about it <laughs> <laughs> there was something where they like because like someone died because they were doing like yeah sort of paris, crazy paris sh- island yeah yeah but That's i think it was like they, it was all i think got it was a lot like of friends a, over there i don't like talking about yeah, it. yeah i don't like to talk about that stuff <laughs> but i remember them being like well this is crazy we shouldn't be letting them do this and it's like I don't think this is any crazy. Yeah, than, we should. Yeah. Also, it's like look, I look at Jackass. <laughs> Jackass <laughs> is crazier than whatever. Yeah. They're, at least they're doing something on that island to like get better, kill other people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever they're doing can't be more dangerous than putting a blindfold on naked with a bull. Mm, true. Right. So you want to cancel Jackass? Of course you do. <laughs> yeah. You fucking liberal. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm fighting for those Marines that want to do risky training on Paris Island. Yes. That's what I, no, I'm giving voice to the voiceless. True. Yeah, I think yeah, I think those dudes are... Uh, I think that's the agreement. Like, if they die, everyone's like... Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a friendly fire. They're trying to yeah. shut it down at the time. I well, they, they have... Uh, yeah, you, if you have, like, health issues, they'll say, like, hey, you know, sit out. Or if you want to, you know, you don't have to. <laughs> it's what happened to Goggins. <laughs> well, I've, talked, I've told Goggins. Story Goggins is a hero. Yeah, they Goggins? Told, they told Goggins, yeah, he had a heart condition. He tapped out of the, uh, I think they're called revolutions when you're in the Marines or Navy SEALs. It was a water revolution. He was like, mm. he popped, or evolutions. I Can't do called. it. Nah, it's one of his biggest. He's mistakes. crazy, he's right? Is he, is he, what's he talking about on a daily basis? He day likes basis? <laughs> He used to, well, I think he, he, I think he shredded his bod. Goggins has to do like, like two hours of stretching a day. Really? Yeah, he ran his yeah, body. He ran, he ran like 100 mile races. Yeah. Dude, what? It, and just diarrhea all over himself. <laughs> Nipples bleeding. He's like, I'm not gay. <laughs> what the fuck? Why do people do that? Because they're not gay. They're the demons, bro. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, what, what is it? Why yeah, not demons, bike? bro? You bike instead. You he did it. He did knees. all that shit. He was, I think he was doing like Did triathlons. everything he could. <laughs> yeah, dude. Couldn't escape his I want to get one of those stickers, dude. They give the marathoners to tell them how many times they had sex. Twenty six point two. I I literally woke Brittany up with that the other day. That started, they should give guys stickers for sex. I was shaking in bed. Yeah. Do you ever see those stickers? Twenty six point two. Yeah. Thirteen point one. Yeah. And we passed the car. She's like, "What is that?" I was like, "It's how many times they had sex." <laughs> <laughs> I remembered that and laid in bed and was like, <laughs> "Got her." <laughs> That's the best when you're shaking. Sean, what would yours say? Three. <laughs> Uh, how many times have you had sex? Real rap. Too many to count, dude. Really? How many times? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. How many different girls? I don't know, man. I don't... If you had to guess, dude, don't get weird. You you lost count, dude? You pig. Yeah, dude, I'm a pig. You pigged out. I'm an absolute pig. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, don't worry about it, Sean. I, I can see know. you're uncomfortable. You don't want to save it's yourself from marriage? Matter. No, maybe I should start now. Too late, dude. It's never too late. Damn it. Yeah, for a guy. Yeah, you're right. For a guy, it ups your stock. True. Proves that you're 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 a good guy. Yeah. But you can't talk about it. If they ask you, just be like, I don't want to talk about this. Girls will ask. They'll be like, How many girls have you been with? You say, Just you, babe. Never kiss and tell. It's like, Oh, yeah, I'm just kind of looking for the right person. True. (laughs) Share share a moment with. (laughs) Yeah, man, I'm telling you. (laughs) (laughs) That's what you got to say. Keeps me honest, dude. I think yeah. about, I think about. I'm like, dude. If I had to do adult dating, like, yeah, it's tough. Yeah, I like it. I guess. Oh, no, yeah. You know, I like it. I hear you. I truly enjoy it. Going out on dates, fun. I've mixed. I've mixed. Uh, mixed emotions about it. It is well, kind of the Tinder exciting. things tough because you're like. Yeah, I don't have to. Thankfully, due to my yeah. incredible career in uh, entertainment. Yeah. I can just go on dates. You can have fun. Yeah. And have fun and do cool stuff. I'm talking about looking for the one, dude. But if I didn't have this fucking incredible clout, <laughs> uh, if I was just this and uh, worked still selling cars, yes. 
You'd be on Tinder. Tinder would be. I did try Tinder, and it was a nightmare. It's scary, dude. It sucked, dude. It is bad. I'd yeah. go on there. Everybody would be like, "Ew, no, dude." I would get DMs and say, "Get the fuck off here, <laughs> fuck you, freak <laughs> creature." What's Bumble? Is the one where the girls can message yeah, you first? Yeah, it's all sad. There's like, "Fuck you, dude." Yeah, I would just get DMs and say, "Piece of shit." New York Tinder <laughs> is especially you. brutal because everyone's. It's like so hot and you just look through them all day yeah and then you and only nobody. get you only get fats <laughs> yeah, they only just get fats the dude. most disgusting people on earth yeah no that's not bad dude. guard dog you're on tinder right yes <laughs> how's that going <laughs> not well <laughs> do you have fishing pictures no i don't do, because that's like a joke everybody thinks it's hack you yeah, should make yours now. all fish i was thinking about it yeah, that's funny <laughs> You should. I can't, dude. dude. I feel so gay doing it. Like, why? You're just trying to fall in love. Just kiss a fish. Anything I write or say or post makes you feel like a fucking loser. On on the thing, yeah, Yeah. it does make you feel like a loser. My uh, my my profile was off the hook. I'm sure it was. (laughs) My profile was nice. It was insane. It was like the fiery. My heart has a fiery passion of a thousand Latino lovers. (laughs) Dude, my fucking profile was nasty. Oh God. It was pretty nasty. That was my only strong suit. Yeah. That my, my I manipulated my Comedy Central web series like extra. Appearance. I remember that. Pop that in the profile. Yeah. That was a big change yeah. of pace. Yeah. Yeah. Big change of pace. We're on TV. Like technically, yes. I'll get blacked <laughs> out. I'll get in blacked sense, out drunk and give you head one night. <laughs> in a sense, yes, I was connected to a major network tenuously. They yes. were interested. <laughs> Very tenuously. I was an yeah, extra <laughs> in a web series. <laughs> I'm a big physical actor. Let's just leave it at that. Mm-hmm. What did you guys have as a yearbook quote? I got so much game, I need a referee. No way. Swear to God. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> I got it from an Ice Cube song. <laughs> I don't even know. I was big into Ice Cube, The Predator, oh. that album when I was in eighth grade. Got so much game, I need a referee. Oh, my God. Yeah, what was, was yours, Chris? I don't even Live, remember. lack, slove? <laughs> no, no, no. No, I think, I think it was... I think I had like I think it was a Damian Marley quote. Oh my fuck! God. Same. That, that's, <laughs> it was bad. That's the next. It is was Lakes, one of the most love. embarrassing things. What was the quote? Do you remember? You have to remember. You do I, know. I, I I swear to God, I don't know. I I will I'll find it. Junior Gong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damian Junior Gong Marley. What are it, the quotes? Oh, I hate that. Was it a quote from the song or like him? Yeah, it was a quote from the song. It was. What song? It was something about I don't know, probably like stuck you know, in between dude. or something. I what? seriously. Hold on. What is it? Yeah, you know. <laughs> I swear to God, know. I don't know. You I wish know. I could call it up. Just, I'll get it. For, I'll get it just, for you. I'll, I'll figure it out. Key, you said stuck between. What? What is I it? I think it maybe. What's? What are some of the songs? Stuck in between is definitely one. That's the first one that I remember. There's, Look up the lyrics. Just stuck in between. <laughs> 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 it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it was. What from was a the nature song. of the quote? What was it it's reflecting upon? Gay, society? spiritual, just weird. It's so Nothing bad. Wrong with that? It was like it was one of those things where I was, <laughs> <laughs> gay, it's gay and spiritual. Matt's like, what's wrong with that? <laughs> but it's not a being cool, spiritual and gay is fine. It's no. not a cool. It's so. It sounds bad. cool. I like it now that you're. I'm like, <laughs> no, that's actually pretty chill. Are you it's, sure it's this one, Chris? Because this one's written like Chet Hanks. Tall. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Just Wait, like, no, Miguel, it. Miguel, Miguel, <laughs> please tell me. <laughs> Them kind of gal, they boost your self esteem. <laughs> <laughs> This uh, might not be it. Man, this is giving me anxiety. <laughs> I feel terrible for you. Did you have a patois fucking quote, dude? It is. It is Chet Hanks. Big ups to my music teacher. This is yeah. Chris O'Connor. <laughs> Me's gonna miss you Dude, now. It is that bad. <laughs> it's something really bad. Hold Fuck, on. dude. You had a junior mo- junior gong quote. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Holy what was shit. yours? I don't. I don't. I don't think I would have done that. What do you remember your quote? I I either probably didn't hand it in or wrote oh. something to be a dickhead. My brother sure. Tom tried doing bad luck class of '96. They took it away and gave him good luck. They they like just like were like fuck you. Really? Yeah, I don't know if we did one. I'd have to check. I think yours might have been these anti fucking football. Mine was probably like season. I'm D one. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> and then by the time it was printed, I was already <laughs> quitting. Oh, did you guys win cool <laughs> superlatives? I think we might be honing. No, in we on didn't have here. that. Yes. Wait, was you this class eighth clown grade? Chain? Or no, this I wasn't high class school. clown, and I remember that bothered me. What, Somebody else was class too. clown, and you know I was like, I oh, I'm funnier. Really? And then I de- dedicated my entire life to the craft of comedy. <laughs> to be like, I'm definitely Who funnier was class than that clown? person. Does it hold up? I don't know. 
I think it might have been <laughs> a guy named Joel who was very funny. So that's a funny name. He Joel was funny. is a funny name. He is still funny. Really? Yes, I've run into him, and it grinds my gears, dude. <laughs> I'll see him at the bar. He'll, he'll be like, hey, what's up? And then he'll say something hilarious. I'll be like, Every, the whole bar is like, <laughs> I'll be like, it's like, hey, guys, round is on me. How you been, Shane? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> and I say, big ups, me bark one day. Nah. <laughs> me looking for the girl to boost me self-esteem. Me play lacrosse <laughs> at the Drexelman. Drexelman I, singing I in the is, thing, bus driver. Big one toss this ball around the horn with me pals. <laughs> So bad. I, I do. Ugh. That's lax talk. Pass it around the horn. Yeah, yeah. Swing around the horn. Swing yeah. around the horn. Yeah. Yeah. I, swear, I played one game of Summer League Lacrosse. Lacrosse is great. Someone smacked me with a stick I and I became, became I became furious. Yeah. <laughs> I became yeah, furious, dude. hit them back with a stick, and they're like, you're That out. was how they sold it as kids. It was just like, do you want to hit people with a stick? You can do it. What'd you say? Nah, man, that sounds wicked <laughs> brutal. <Is> it <laughs> me? <laughs> me not like them sticks done. <laughs> he played baseball. Everything gonna be airy. <laughs> hey, hey. All right. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> oh, dude, he's junior gong. <laughs> he is. Yeah, dude. Chris, now do you believe wet sand holds umbrellas? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the I wet sand, the boy there. You and should have told him you were from the sand. islands. <laughs> <laughs> you should have told him you know I'm from the islands boy <laughs> oh fuck Come on. yo did you see uh, Tyson Fury saying the n-word no <laughs> Tyson Fury Tyson Fury the boxer the gypsy king oh really he's like 6'9 <laughs> he's huge he's a heavyweight champ of the world it's not he doesn't say it he's a he's white bro he's singing along to Notorious and if you don't know now you know and he says it and uh, on where like just like a Snapchat? it's just an old video it's him and his family he's like singing with his family they're all little kids and shit but uh it's funny because black twitter has been pretty funny about it yeah you can't because he just GK. knocked out deontay yeah. wilder who's like a jacked black dude he, this is and the third time he's whooped with, his ass they've been hitting and they're the like he said the n-word and all the black twitter is like we sent our best hitter dude he's allowed to <laughs> <laughs> we can't do anything about this one <laughs> it's i pretty feel funny. like there is a grace period with the singing stuff Singing and when you're the six foot nine heavyweight champ of the world, yeah, like he Nate can, Diaz and he's got British, match. yeah, he's a gypsy, he's a fucking. What are you gonna do? Have you seen this guy? You'd love this guy. I think I've seen. You him would before. fucking love this guy. I'm, I'm sure I would. He <laughs> sings. He after after the match, if he wins, I he saw stands a clip in the ring of that and guy. sings for like three straight minutes. I saw a clip of that. The guy actually he sang "Walking in Memphis" and he changed it to "Walking in Vegas" and he sang it. Slim Thug actually put a thing up on his Instagram. <laughs> it's fucking incredible. I follow Slim Thug. With a hat, with a Jesus hat. Like a Mexican oh, a yes. Mexican Jesus hat. Like Jesus in the shape of the fish. And he's just... And he's a six foot gypsy, nine bro. gypsy. Yeah, He's man. the gypsy king. He's. I think his family was like bare knuckle boxers. And there's a video. We talked about it a long time ago. There's a video of him. They did like their own podcast type thing. It's just him laying on a couch being like, and the, Drew, <laughs> the Jews control the media. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what accent that was, but that's he's laying on a couch like they do. <laughs> he's talking into a mic. He's like they control the media. <laughs> yeah, man. The uh, he's the heavyweight champ, dude. He's a champ, bro. There's nothing they can do. Uh, yeah, it's weird they're fucking going for these dudes who are like dealing with strict, just like like Gruden's in charge of dudes slamming into dudes. He's in charge of just punching dudes in the head. And they're like, can you fucking believe this? It's like, it's like uh, yes. what Chappelle said in his special about yeah. the baby. Yeah, he's like they got him for saying like. My fans don't have AIDS. Meanwhile, he literally murdered a guy in a Walmart. <laughs> in Walmart. <laughs> and everyone's like, yeah, he's a rapper. Yeah, man. Yeah. Was, wasn't it self-defense? Or did Must he... have been. <laughs> it must have been. He had them fangs on him. Really? Say it into the mic, Sean. I might run up on you if you don't talk to the mic. Yeah, dude. He shot someone down in the Walmart when they ran up on did him Did he say baby clean mama. up in aisle 16? <laughs> Damn, imagine seeing a shooting in the Walmart. I'm sure tons I of people have. have. Dude, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure my cart that would have been <laughs> right out the door. Oh, you would have stolen. I believe you have something to handle. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. After shooting somebody? No, if, if during there was a shooting, shooting in Walmart, Matt would have immediately I would, shoplifted. Oh, I would have been. Oh yeah. What yeah. was that show where people load as much stuff into your shopping cart? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That Walmart must supermarket have plunge, dude. Sweet. Supermarket, supermarket sweep. When I was a kid, that was the dream. I used to fuck around. I remember watching that like, this is incredible. And then now that you're an adult, it's like they got like $300 worth of like, <laughs> of, like bread. <laughs> Some idiots just swiping like Ziploc bags. It's like shopping at BJ's. You can just go shop at BJ's. Yeah, you can just do that now. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was really sick. They should dude. bring those shows to like North Korea. 
you know <laughs> just be like great. hurry up dude yeah as much as you get can as get. much food as you can real quick and then and just at the end, down on the way out. At the end, just like check if they said anything bad about the fucking leader, <laughs> the dear leader. leader. <laughs> yeah, we'll put that shit back, bro. Yeah, man, I used to, I used to watch that and go to like Gennardi's with my mom, and just be like, I just want to fucking just swipe it in, just one aisle, dude, mm. snack aisle, it's like fruit roll ups, fruit by the just foot, a gushers. gushers, kangaroo swipe, kangaroos, <laughs> bro. Yeah, man, that was a bugles guy. You're you would be, you dude. You're being bugle, man. <laughs> you Did you put them on your fingertips? Come on. Yeah, of course. Did you yeah. put them on? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. When's the last time you had bugles? I got them at a hotel recently. Yeah. They're, really? They hold up, bugles. dude. They're good. I hadn't, had bu- I hadn't had bugles in a decade. I was a big Funyuns head, dude. Yeah. Funyuns. I was a big Funyuns I, head. I, they always seemed low class to me. They're decadent, dude. Fec- Funyuns are they always The bag always <laughs> seemed like it was for pores. Yeah, it's, yeah, true. It is a poor person snack. They were that was a trade I'd get. You know what else I never have literally never eaten? Spicy hot Cheetos. What? I've never Flamin even hots? eaten those. Flaming hots? Bro. I've seen too many pores devour. You're just them. in Chi Town. True. You go to the corner store. I tried to get there. some Chi Town pussy, ended up slicing my damn penis. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big thing in Chi Town, dude. You open a bag of flaming hots and they just throw cheese on it and shake it up and mm. send it out. Damn. That's yeah, bro. I mean good. they're basically chi cheese. It's like a jail yeah. thing. But yeah, yeah, bro. Get some flaming hots with cheese. Oh, we. That's that's the only thing second better to chat town pussy, bro. Hot. I'm not Go a big fan co- of super hot chips. Andy Caps hot fries? No. What'd you say? Andy Caps hot fries? I've never even heard of those. Whoa. But you know the cartoon Andy Cap? No. Andy Caps hot fries, they might have been the most What's Andy outside. Cap? <laughs> yeah, it was a cartoon in the Sunday paper that it was just a guy he'd come home drunk and his wife would like hit him and he'd leave <laughs> and then they launched her and then they launched their Man, merch you must have loved that <laughs> <laughs> their merch, oh all right yes i have seen those yeah their merch was then they like started slanging merch with, with hot fries they were probably the most delicious snack you know who else ruled the lockhorns <laughs> isn't that their name it's just a guy who trashed his wife every day Where, was it the lockhorns or is this the viking dude no um, I think I know hey, you're guys, talking two guys that would ju- it was a guy and a woman that would just talk shit to each other it was a man and a wife yeah, I'm trying horns. to think I used to fuck look with that, see if that's a it can't be yeah, the, it might old, be the Lockhorns I used to fuck with non sequitur maybe I'm wrong about Andy Cap. is it the Lockhorns was that correct did you fuck with the Piranha Club I don't even know what that is Lockhorns. Let me see. Can I see them? Yeah, they used to lock horns. Oh, dude, the grumpy guy. <laughs> the grumpy yeah, guy yeah. and his shitty fat wife yeah. lock horns talk ruled. shit to each other. That's yeah. a lot like Andy Cap. Yeah, it sounded like it. that's yeah. what. That's what. I just munched on Andy Cap. I didn't enjoy his artwork. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I just enjoyed his culinary fucking art. Yeah. It, like I never. I, I would because I would you know I'd laugh at all the stupid. You used to laugh at the funnies. <laughs> yeah, dude. I <laughs> love. Yeah, them. I, used to, I used to like. I, I go, yeah. Mom. Yeah. Mom. Look yeah. at this. Yes, I'll have strawberry cream cheese on my bagel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Christopher, <laughs> are you looking at the funnies again? <laughs> we have no time for this. It's yacht practice <laughs> you're late for not tying <laughs> take the real estate section <laughs> oh my Christopher, god <laughs> have you been listening to that reggae <laughs> you must be on marijuana <laughs> dad i'm not <laughs> just got to my room my plants for Mex- that plant sheriff. drives mexicans yeah. out of their minds <laughs> <laughs> it makes them crazy anyway oh i enjoyed the funnies you used to blast reggae <laughs> I used to enjoy the funniest big time yeah. dude. Sunday paper I was I go home I would just munch a bagel That's You know I'm just projecting on I will you. say family, family Circus Can suck my dick though uh, Yeah Not I never liked me. Family Circus Not for me Beetle Bailey was Is nice. he the troop? Yeah, yeah I liked Beetle, Beetle Bailey Beetle was nice I used yeah. to grab I liked that big ass Great Dane What was his name? Marmaduke Marmaduke <laughs> Always up to no good dude. True I, I like Calvin and Hobbes. I'd pretend that I understood. You love you. You actually like love Calvin I and Hobbes. I love. Yeah, Calvin I used to read their books. Yeah. I got their books. I used to read them. Funny, funny side or Far Side is the goat. Far Side, side is Far Side so holds up. Good, yeah, dude. Yeah. Good. yeah, I used to snag the bra section out of the like Coles catalogs or like J C Penney's. I would snag that and the funnies after church. Whack off and hit the bath and run. <laughs> fucking. What's better than that? I mean, come on, man. That's the whole point of life. It was the best. Jizzing and laughing. Damn. I'll get out of church. I'm like, be so fucking. There's good. a. I'm like, oh. There's a far side cartoon that caused a ruckus and it was it was like a cow's tools and it it made no sense and it drove people insane. What was it? Cuz they couldn't figure out what the point of the joke was. You're right. Yeah. It was like yeah. it was like a, literally a cow standing there with shitty tools that a cow would make. 
Yeah. That was the joke. In like a shed or something. Yeah, the yeah. joke was that cows would not be able to make good tools. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it just drove people nuts. People like, what, what the, the fuck, fuck is this? fuck does this mean? <laughs> he was getting like letters. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What's that guy's deal? He's, he's just I think a he funny just guy. rules. Yeah, I love to read it. He uh, said he would get so much hate mail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he gets so much hate mail of people being like, yeah, with a lot of stuff, just like, what the fuck? fuck is this? what does this mean dude and he would just be like i don't really know why yeah just, it's just a cow's tools I just doodled this stuff <laughs> he like, great, man. i don't he didn't like set out i don't think to be like he just made doodles and like started putting man i'm gonna look at them. some far side after this. Dude, so I, was, funny. I have a big calvin and yeah. Hobbes anthology i used to read those when i was little i fucking love those it's time for us to get back into the funnies true yeah. where's do we have hocus a funny pocus. section hocus focus was my favorite really what you let me Guard dog, bring up Hocus Focus so Hocus, I can take a look Hocus at it. Hocus Focus is just where there's two similar looking images. Mm. It's slightly different. You gotta Don't judge me. I used to fuck with the differences. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I used to That's fuck fun. with Kathy hard. <laughs> Hocus Focus. Kathy? Was Kathy. Let's see Kathy. Let me see what Kathy's up to. Funny. Kathy was a sick funny. What was yeah. that bitch up to? It was just like, I think it was just, looking back on it, I think it was just like a middle-aged woman in crisis. <laughs> Did you ever get a Kathy birthday card for your mom? Oh, no, no, okay. No. I remember Kathy. <laughs> Talking to the mic. goddamn microphone? Sean, talking to the mic. Act like you've been here before, please. <laughs> Dude, you're the producer, bro. <laughs> the hell? Sean, it, this episode was you guys going ever, great. Did you I'm guys sorry. ever... I always tried to catch up with Prince Valiant. <laughs> I never could. You talking about... Did you have Prince Valiant? No. Nah. Oh, was, was like that the like the only... serious ones? <laughs> Dude, those bothered me so much. <laughs> it'd be one clip. <laughs> yeah. And I'd be like, what's happening in the story? <laughs> It'd be like, and they got away oh, on a boat. Yeah. And I'd be, yeah. I remember being a little kid taking a shit. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what happened? It would just be one scene. I'd be flipping through. I'd be like, <laughs> dude, I always. And the cartoon like... was crazy looking. <laughs> that was that's crazy. That that was like a remnant of like World War II that like we got to experience. That was like what old people back then were like. Ooh, I wonder what happened this week. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite picture. Wow. Back to yeah. walking around yeah. outside. <laughs> Back to staring at the sky. Yeah. I yeah, never had any idea what was going Back on. Back to remembering those war crimes. Dude, we need to do a funnies, dude. There was a Get period going? I, I committed to Prince Valiant for like 2 months. Yeah. And was unable to figure out what was happening. <laughs> and gave up on it. I used to just forget it. I look at it, and by the time the next week came, I'd just be like, totally forget. Yeah. Dilbert, I was a big Dilbert. Dilbert guy, was dude. funny. Dilbert was my one. One of my what favorites. About that one that was like the, the it was like uh, birds in a tree. Do you remember what the fuck was it called? And they would like they would there was like a bar. They were always it was like you know it was birds in a tree, but they were having their lives were falling apart. All the funnies were people yeah. with lives are falling apart. Yeah, dude, dudes great. who wrote those were fucking yeah, like depression era <laughs> humans. They were like, yeah, yeah, you think your life sucks? Look at this bird. <laughs> Scott Adams did triumph. Too. Scott Adams did triumph. He was one of the only cartoonists, one of the few yeah. who. And now he has like a YouTube blog. Yeah, he's he's a lot. You of know what like propelled him. his career? Uh or no. Uh he's he's like he has very strong views against um Oh wait, was he Dilbert? Yeah, he was oh, he loved Dilbert. Trump. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he he was well, saying he did he like try he was try, he tried to he did like a weird thing where he's like I don't love Trump, but you have to understand. He's into his art of He's powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's big into he's persuasion. Extremely he's powerful. Persuasion guy. He knows exactly what he's doing all the time. Yeah. Big <laughs> into persuasion. But he was he was what like if he did. I mean, that's what that's well, he that's kept the, coming back to. That's it, the, it's like, how can you argue? Look at the results. That's the real problem with you guys. That the real catch twenty two with the left is like, is he a nincompoop or is he orchestrating no, a coup and destroying the democracy? The catch twenty two with the left is nothing. They do is cool. What? Everything they do is not cool. I'll tell you what, your guys having a tough time right now in the polls, <laughs> and yeah. everything yeah. Republicans do time. is kind of cool. Well, no, it didn't like, used to be that you, way. Leave me alone. It didn't used to be that it way. It didn't be until you guys really started shoving it down everyone's yeah, throat. Yeah, yeah. All you guys had to do for a while was just like, nah, you can get abortions. And everyone's like, yeah, it's sensible. And now yeah. you guys fucking lost it. It's too, it's I too have, tough. I have it's a theory annoying. Trump was like a CIA shock doctor and <laughs> yeah. operative just completely destabilized the country. I When he first came in, I was like, dude, I think this is part of a larger orchestra. I think he's just a rogue wave. I don't think it was orchestrated. I think it, dude, just I think it just is what happens they, with, with our media yeah, and with true. everything. I don't think it was like they sat down and were like, let's do this. I think I mean, just anytime something that polarizing comes out with today's, the yeah. way we're set up, it's going to destroy everything. That's very possible. My I thing think is, that's significantly more possible. I don't think possible. they'd have been able, no, they're true. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's very possible that I'm wrong. What I'm saying is 
he created the perfect conditions for us to have, you know, and rightfully so. I'm glad we've had all of our constitutional rights stripped away. Yeah. But I think, I think he set out the perfect conditions for that to happen. Yeah. To, but again, to yeah. fight back. But that was just because exactly what would happen <laughs> with this media is seen? if one bully got Yeah, him. I guess so. I guess, yeah, I guess Obama If the media had quietly, chilled on him a little, yeah. it wouldn't have been that polarizing. No, that's a fair point. Yeah, they okay. would have just passed. That. They made everybody cry. Did you see the video yeah. of him? Chris and all his friends cried. <laughs> I did not cry. What you cried on, election, on election night? I did not cry. You came close. I was upset. Like, democracy oh, is dead as we that's, know it. Me gone one and all. Missile side no, You hear me? It's a dictatorship. What's going to to my people? The trump man <laughs> Him no good. <laughs> Right. Well, they were just quietly passing that <laughs> yeah. stuff before. That was the funny thing. They would just quietly pass all kinds of wild shit. Yeah. That's what Snowden got. Like, that was his big moment when they were like, you know, the government can read all your texts. And everyone's like, what? And it's like, yeah. yeah, we passed the bill. Oh, dude, come on, stop crying. Yeah, guys. we're going to read your text. So I guess you don't have to destabilize. Yeah. Yeah, they can know. do it some other way. Maybe it was just the swing from Obama. That was like, everyone got to be pumped on Obama. And then they're like, yeah. I, I, it, yeah, no, Trump just like you can't take it. I mean, that clip the other day was the funniest thing. AIDS? <laughs> no, no. The one where he was uh, looking at that sleeping guy at yeah. the speech. <laughs> it's just like there's some dude at a speech. I don't know where he's from, Turkey or something. Yeah, he, Muslim. And he's <laughs> Egypt, <laughs> Afghanistan, Turkey. Africa. Muslim fell asleep at a Trump rally? He was just hand to the right and Trump's there looking at him. Somebody <laughs> else was giving a speech. All these world leaders are on a stage and there's a Muslim guy just oh. asleep. And, the camera pulls back and Trump's just like <laughs> like a dad in church. Like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? It's so funny. I thought he said it was doing a Trump rally. A Middle Eastern guy passed out, like slapped. Oh, him. no, no, no. You think you'd be on fucking. It's so no, funny. It's pretty. Yeah. As they're painting to the right, Melania's sitting there just staring straight ahead, motionless. <laughs> it just gets to his mm. face. And it is the funniest scowl. <laughs> it scowls in the only way that Trump can. Just, yeah. You think he'll be back? I think so. I, I think, think he's going to storm back 2024. Th- oh, mm-hmm. you're dropping breadcrumbs. You think the storm's coming? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> How could he not? You're doing Q drops, bro. He, he's still got the heat. Yeah, he's know. the only one that can... No one can beat him. Yeah, but like, what yeah. are they even beating? What are they doing? Well, I'm saying like, there's no other Republican that'll be able to yeah. get the nomination over him. Yeah. Right? And then... Then it's because there's a whole middle ground of people that don't give a fuck about politics that want Trump to win. Yeah. You know, whoever those people are. (laughs) Yeah. True. I don't want him to win. (laughs) Yeah. I don't know what I want. America. I genuinely don't don't know what I want right now in terms of him. coming. Do I want to deal with? Yeah, I don't want to deal with more years of hearing about him. I don't want to deal with that. But then again, it's the same thing as last time. And we've said this a million times, but it's like, do I want to deal with him? No. But do I want the left to get their way after they stomped and cried for four years? I also don't want yeah. that, which that's them winning. Us all being like, I don't want to deal with this again, is us being like, I don't want to deal with the left being fucking giant pussies, know nothing, anti football pussies True. for four more <laughs> fucking years. The left is anti football. I think, I, I, yeah, I would say so. I'll, I'm telling you, Matthew McConaughey, I think it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a classic. It's going to be split. Kamala Trump. It's going to be a classic split. Yeah. And, and she's gonna not even going to be close to him. Nah, dude. No. That would be a Blood huge death. fucking disaster if they try to run yeah. her. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> and they might because they have to. Yeah. They have to. By their own rules that they've created, they have to elect a woman of color. Biden's just got to limp into that fifth year. He's not... <laughs> Bro, he's gonna make it. I, Did you see the videos people are trying to say he shit himself? Yes, when everyone rushes out of the room. I got you, you told me about it. I gotta see. Every, I was looking for. Leaves? I was looking for. Chris the, doesn't watch Biden. It's not the I, smoke. I, I, Chris but, refuses to look himself in the mirror. I told, <laughs> no, <laughs> see what you've created. No, yeah, I, I mean, dude, out, I tuned out a while for the first time in my life. I'm like, I think I might vote. I think I might vote next presidential. Election. Yeah, for Trump. Who for? Just any <laughs> anyone other than I might vote Republican, Libertarian. No, I need I need someone to win. I need whoever these Texas senators are who are being like Texas we're not senators? fucking shutting down school. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. One of these DeSantis guys from Florida might might run. Yeah, that that could be a guy yeah. instead of Trump because Trump will be geezed up. I mean, he'll still be on who's wild Rand? amounts of. I'm, I'm in a Rand Paul right now. <laughs> Rand Paul hate the man's politics, bro. I hate what he's doing to Fauci, but mm. Rand fan. Paul. Did you guys get to watch Fauci? He doesn't Disney have the magic. Movie? What Fauci's Disney documentary? What, yeah. what was that oh, about? I, th- I saw a trailer. Your for people that, made this. <laughs> it's about, this came out about like, like around the same pandemic time. back when he was 
<laughs> no, they leave yeah. out the AIDS pandemic. <laughs> they don't <laughs> talk about his role. They leave this out isn't HIV about like a AIDS. girl who's got lesbian parents who grows up to be a doctor or something. Oh, I have no I idea. There's it, literally no, a Disney th- thing on Disney Plus called oh, Fauci. I've seen it. No, I know, I know what you're talking about. It's about it's like it follows a family from like the start of Fauci's thing and like he watches American health get worse and worse under his leadership <laughs> over the course of like 30 years. And yeah, no and then it looks into his test. patents this and where all his money <laughs> comes from. I've, I see that, that looks decent. I'm like, he's working hard. He deserves to make some money. I can't believe no one's like gotten tricked hard enough anti Fauci to try to kill him yet. You know what I mean? Because dudes that fall into that like wormhole of like Fauci is the devil. Mm. Like Bill was like seething when he saw Bill Gates. When we He's were, got an army. Like, we of just him. had Bill Gates on TV. He's like, I hate this motherfucker so much. I was like, why? He's like, fucking look at him. <laughs> <laughs> now Fauci's got body doubles. He's got an army of He's tiny got Italians. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, dude. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I think. I'll be honest, I don't like the guy. <laughs> you don't like him? I don't like Fauci, bro. I don't like Gates. I don't. I don't seethe on them. I just like the Which, fact Gates hangs with pedos, bro, and that's kind of like it's yeah, weird. it weirds me out. Yeah, but so did Trump talk. Yeah, yeah, it fucking weirds me out. Yeah, it's bizarre. But I Gates' think, is look, thing. But here's the thing, though. Trump did say, Trump "I went hung there." Out the staff. I went there once. Gates' stuff is post conviction for child sex, and it was like mo- allegedly multiple encounters and yeah. Gates is like I was looking in for fundraising options and it was like it just doesn't add up yeah I saw that that interview oh wait didn't you guys just show yeah, we me show, that? yeah yeah and he's like I was exploring fundraising options and his wife apparently has come out and been like he used to go chill there he used to decompress on the island at the New York his ex-wife excuse me at I the, think you at, get high enough up there you're gonna cross paths with some pedos uh, yeah, that's I mean, your excuse. But, but post, <laughs> think it's post, what the fuck? I don't get mad at you Trump about You fucking make PS. excuses for these people. All <laughs> I, I hold Trump Dude. at arm's length. No, look, hey, I hold Trump. I'm a pragmatist. You know, I. I'm a what real... would the world's richest man need to do to like? What contacts would he need from a convicted pedophile? <laughs> I don't know. Like, who can he not talk to? I don't that know. He can? I don't know. But I mean, I've, he probably has a pretty extensive. I've network. watched enough people Game of Thrones of where sometimes you know. You got to make strange. Do you think Epstein was just protecting the realm? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of being eunuch, he just had his egg-shaped penis and was like, yes, yes. He was. Epstein was that guy. <laughs> the guy that was out in the woods with all his daughters. <laughs> I mean, Jon Snow did stay there. Yeah. <laughs> so, he master. <laughs> Jon Snow did stay there. So, technically, Jon Snow is on the list. God damn. <laughs> Instead of leaving his firstborn sons, he was leaving, like, Claire's accessories out in the snow. <laughs> They will come. <laughs> yes. Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't have extreme animus towards the man. I'm just kind of like, what's up with this fucking guy? I haven't done yeah. any research at all. I so. only watched I only watched Talking Points with Sagar and Crystal Ball. <laughs> and the whole time I watch it, I just laugh to myself thinking how much Sagar has a crush on Crystal Ball. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, like, I just watch him look at her. <laughs> you're what's into, her name? You're into it for Sager the Sagar and there, Crystal Ball. Thing? Crystal Ball? Yeah, her name's yeah. Crystal Ball. Her name is Crystal Ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. She's not to be trusted. Dude, she's a strong... She comes from bad stock. <laughs> Crystal ball, dude. She comes from stupid people. Yeah. She you definitely does. That back, dude. She They're definitely the number does. one news show on Spotify right now. I heard. Thanks to her listeners. Joe Rogies. You Joe Rogies likes them. I like them, dude. They're Did good. they pass Joe Rogies? No, no, he's, no, no, no. he put news. them on. Number on one his news. Bo- yeah. Dude, I, before I forget this, yes. there's a podcast. Everybody go listen to it. It's called <laughs> Promo Code Podcast. Yes. All right. That's all. Check it out. I forgot it. I wanted to every. I wanted to pump this up. Hell it's yeah. a very funny podcast. Hell yeah. It's called Promo Code Podcast. Listen to it. Who's whose podcast is it? Ah, fuck. I'm, I can't think of his name right now. You shouldn't put him on the spot like that. What no, the I'm fuck's kidding. your problem, dude? <laughs> Yo, speaking of getting put on the spot, I was watching this interview with uh, Ben and Jerry's. Did you guys see that at all? <laughs> no, I saw. It's it. so funny. Why What's they the don't support they're, Israel or something? It was something about like they're anti-Israel or they're they're pro-Israel, but they're against like Israel's policies. So I think they were going to stop sending ice cream there. <laughs> yeah, they did. And so the girl was just like, well, "Aren't you guys big on like voting laws and abortion? Why don't you stop selling to Texas and Georgia?" And he's like. That's a good question. <laughs> it's like, he was like, well, we're not going to just stop selling. <laughs> like, yeah. Those are our country not men. sell yeah. ice cream. Yeah, it was pretty funny for him to get hit with that question. Yeah. And just be like, and the other guys, I don't know which one, Ben or Jerry, I don't know which one doesn't talk. Yeah. They've got a real Penn and Teller thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of them doesn't talk. Damn, dude. And just sat there like looking at the other guy like, don't fuck this up, dude. What are you going to say? They did a blockade on the Jays, dude. Yeah, they hit him. How much ice cream do you think 
the Jews eat? Yeah, do they eat a lot of probably ice cream? Probably 25% of the world's consumption. <laughs> you think so? I don't know. <laughs> you think they got a stranglehold on ice cream? They probably eat a decent Are Ben and Jerry cream. Jews? I actually, I think Jews typically have fucked up stomachs and react to dairy poorly. So And Asian maybe people, not. too. Asian people don't tolerate the really? lactose. I could see that. Yeah, because yeah, they didn't... <laughs> <laughs> they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, we the the you know the whites we, did we we were the first to do the milk and shit. No, <laughs> we talking about dude. No chance. Stop stealing you the stuff from so? the Africans, dude. You're cult, you're appropriate. I don't know. No, the milk and stuff. I would imagine like that was Middle East, Af- North Africa. Just stuff. Like a milk hungry. and honey, bro. Just that was some, in the Bible. Oh yeah, land of milk and honey. Just some hungry boy. Although they dude. do like goat's milk. milk yeah, right. so it could have been any milk. Could have been tit milk and honey. <laughs> True. Would have been nice. Just hitting a cow and sucking a lady's tits. It must have been awesome, dude. What sucking ladies' tits? Just sucking tits. Just walking around the earth back then, just being like, "I'm hungry. Come here, lady." Fuck yeah, dude. A lot of. I got a full belly from sucking this cow's titties. Yes, (sighs) man. Where did that? That's ancient knowledge, dude. Yeah. You're just so fucking hungry. You're just like suck to go a whole life and never have an ice to drink. A what? Never have one cold drink. Yeah. Yeah, I just live with I, I bet they, I bet they got a cold the night. They probably got some cold nights. Yeah, dude, there's some chilly shit. And dude. there's some cold water. They probably ran into some. But cold I'm talking water. about cold water on a hot day. It's probably yeah, very it's rare. Comfortable eat cold mm-hmm. water in winter time. <laughs> it's. Not I can live fun. without. I can live on just room temp water. <sighs> it's so. Refreshing, I do. Prefer, though, I do like. It's cold. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't mind I'm room, room temp, temp water. It's not, it doesn't easy to chug. Do you? Yes. And I love chugging water. I love. I chug water constantly. I don't want to brag, but I have to pee so bad because I chugged so much before I came. Matt. Sean, I basically drank. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I, th- I think they must have got like little mountain springs every now and again. Yeah. Little... The Romans That's had true. ice. That was something we got called out on. Really? How the fuck did they get all that ice? And the show is bullshit. The Romans apparently had they ice. They bury it, right? If you bury ice, it can talk, last a long time. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to get into that. Yeah, I don't want to get into that. If you bury ice, it can last a long time. Yeah, you know about that and sand, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are two things I know about. That's what they used to do. They would bury ice mm-hmm. in the ground because the ground is uh, cold. It's chilly down there. Or it's stable temperature. Yeah. yeah. Geothermal. And you pack it all together. It's back like in, it's a little back in the day in Harrisburg, they used to chop the ice right off the river. Yeah. Yeah. Really? And the ice man would come around. Cart around some blocks of ice. Block. They yeah. still do that in uh, poor countries, I'm sure. No, they do it in New Hampshire. Well, you can go up there for an ice cutting. You just cut big cubes of ice out of the lake. Nice. How many people do you think? How many ice men do you think got greedy in the spring and died? Trying to get some more. Yeah, <laughs> hitting the fucking lake. And like, <laughs> I think you can only do a deep winter to get big chunks. True, but well, that's I mean, the that's the point. Exactly. And saying how many you know, people got uh, greedy. Yeah. So when they don't cut it off, it's like it's a chilly March day, and you're like. Yeah. <laughs> what the spot. fuck are you doing dude. you couldn't wait until the podcast is like, done to dude, chomp we have like four more minutes left and you had the jump <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like a fucking mouse in the corner <laughs> <laughs> and it was loud that was it was unfortunately loud guard dog Lamera, so dude. you've been masturbating so hard that your penis is damaged have you been using those chocolate covered almonds as like a No, I'm there's just dehydrated. no way that's a once a day thing. Chris, why on my case like that, man? I'm how hard saying. you fapping? How long what's your duration of your sesh? You know, I'm in, um I don't know. 15, 10. Yeah, that's that's about right. Yeah. 15 is a little. So long. how are you getting that th- cuz you're living with your parents, right? So yes. what do you uh, you know, you wait till they go to bed, are you doing it while they cook dinner, like what do you do? <laughs> Did you ever come down for dinner after just fapping? No, no, I don't really. Chris do did that. that after the garden. Remember that? <laughs> after the yeah, what? Chris when you and your father built the much. garden, you went upstairs <laughs> and, mas- <laughs> and, and then you masturbated and went down for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> How many times do you think your dad masturbated before dinner and just came down like? Ah, I don't know. True. My, just my, did the, You know they come down, they go. Yeah. 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 One Sick dad move. I, one time I did get caught masturbating and then have to go right down to dinner afterwards. <laughs> oh, so you were masturbating no. for that. I was masturbating before dinner. I was like middle <laughs> school, maybe like 14. My mom came in to tell me dinner was ready and I was masturbating and I had to go and 
eat meatloaf with mommy and daddy after getting Ooh. caught. Dude, yeah. Oh, very God, dude. Who'd you rather get caught by, mommy or daddy? Daddy by a more Daddy, but daddy million. was really? a jerk about it, yes. dude. Daddy would have made fun of you. Daddy would make fun of Which would have been of funny. And if, if my dad caught me whacking off and then we had to go to dinner, <laughs> oh, he, first off, he, w- he was funny, so he wouldn't do it right away. But eventually, <laughs> he'd, he'd be like, he'd... Shane, really... Uh, Cutting that meat pretty fast, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like some yeah, bullshit yeah, yeah, like that, yeah, yeah. and he makes you break. He'd be like, "Fuck <laughs> you, Dad! I mean, everybody does it." <laughs> My dad would get me, dude. My dad would get me. He got me a few times. Oh, Just he fuck. knew how to do it in the bathroom. That was my main. He was location. he was gunning for you before shower in the. That bathroom. was your I that was your that. Alamo. If I were in there <laughs> too long, if, if I, I know someone's whacking off, long, I'm fucking with him. He'll what? Fuck, he would bang yeah. on the door and be like, "What are you doing in there? Get out of there!" Yeah, it's the best thing to do. What the hell are you doing in there? Oh. And then sometimes he would even pop open the lock, but not open the door, just to <laughs> pop it to scare you. Yeah. Holy and just shit, hear you just, yeah. dude. Yeah, you're sick bastard. But your dad's jacked, right? Yeah, he's jacked. Yeah, he's jacked hilarious. an Italian, dude. That's he's a good the Italian jacked Italian, Italian guy that's fucking with you. That's very funny. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. That's actually a nice thing. It's good fun, yeah. Yeah, yeah. my dad, Mommy I think, would catches you, though. It's bad. Yeah, yeah that's disgusting. That's Put the almonds down. You don't need to what eat What was that dinner charge like? situation? What was that dinner I can't remember. I remember I was masturbating. He blacked out. Dude, I I remember I was masturbating to the girl in Super Troopers, the blonde lady in Super Troopers. Yeah, yeah that's nice. On what? Ursula. On my TV, I paused it on the TVR and just looked at the still photo. Wow, you just looked at it. Nice. And I would like rewind. and That's, go pro, to, like, that's another, pro football right there. That's, that's yeah, very you're pro very pro football. Pro football. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah, my dad would, I think, would have just kind of like been like, yeah, Jesus Christ, and blocked it out. Yeah, what the hell think, are you doing? He's, he's very uncomfortable at sex talk. My whole family yeah. would never ever talk about sex. Yeah. yeah. Which Same. is the right thing. Yeah. Same. I mean, we didn't talk about it. my mom opened the door when she caught me before dinner, screamed. I screamed. <laughs> she shut it and then I we just never talked about it again. Screamed like, how she you scream? screamed. She was like, ah. And you went, <laughs> and I was like, ah. 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 I was like, it was like a yelp. Get the fuck out of here, mom. Yeah. And I like ripped my shorts back I'm up. I'm not hungry. Oh, man. <sighs> That was bad. Imagine kids now, dude. You probably have like a VR headset and like a yeah. butt plug yeah. in. You're like, dude, pussy. come on, come on, get, come on, get up. You have like a. <laughs> do they have like any sort of like <clears throat> artificial tentacle? Device? I don't know. <laughs> Just sucking on a tentacle. <laughs> that would be rough. Getting caught by your mom and not knowing you're caught because you have your VR <clears throat> porn on. And your mom just walks in and you don't notice she's in mm-hmm. It's Jesus had to Christ. have happened. Yeah. Oh, certainly. You're yeah. sucking on a vibrating egg. <laughs> <laughs> just in your mouth. You just have a butt plug. You have like vibrating panties over your face. You're sucking <laughs> on the vibrating egg. Be hot. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's I think it's time to page. switch over to the Patreon. Yeah, I think so. Where are we at here, Sean? 120? 116. I thought so. Yes. Austin 116. Go listen to promo code podcast. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yes.